Now that's what I call a road test. Buckle up. Transport of the Series debuts on TNT with Pedal to the Metal this weekend. Now it's been a long, long road getting the adaption of the big screen fast car franchise to American small screens. But the Chris Vance portrayed professional transporter and driver Frank Martin is finally at the starting line, getting the Euro bad guys and the not so bad girls to their destination. They'll be looking for us. One of you will have to get out. This car doesn't start until you do. Reminiscent of those men of little words and a lot of action series like the original Equalizer and the A-Team that used to populate TV back in the 80s, the one-hour transporter has a lot of flash and dash, but it also may have enough road to actually outperform the Luc Besson movies it's adapted from. The trick to the internationally produced, mainly shot in Toronto but taking place all over Europe series is Vance. Now you might recognize the actor from roles on Fox's Prison Break or USA's Burn Notice. Like that famous battery ad from years ago, in Transporter, Deadpan Vance dares you not to take him seriously, in a role that would be pretty much wafer thin in any other thespian's hands. Sure, it's all very Bond light, and the shades of grey are few in a betrayal heavy world too often as black and white as the suits Vance wears. But once you get used to Vance's Martin taking over from Jason Statham in the movies, Transporter the TV series is a ton of totally unselfconscious fun with fast cars, Paris motor shows, scientific prototypes, beautiful but genius or dangerous women, and everyone breaking omelets to make eggs, to paraphrase the show. You want deep? Go look somewhere else on the cable dial. You want dark? There's a ton of that already on TV. But if you want a no names please, crash em up, smash em up, trip back to the future to the way TV used to rev its motor, check out Transporter. It's a perfect road test. Admit, you're impressed.